I'm excited to bring something I've never seen somebody look like me do. I'm excited to tell a different kind of story. I am excited that this story, Dolores Roach, is not necessarily a Latino story, but it just happens to have two Latinos as the lead, myself and Alejandro Hernandez. And I, I just love that people get to see themselves up there. And, and, it's, uh, and it's also like an incredible script and a wild ride and unexpected and something like I've never done before. So all of those reasons are why I, it was important to me. Well, I mean, we, we have a shorthand, right? It's like, you know, uh, and we understand each other and we also understand what we both had to go against, you know, and what we have and the challenges that we have as women of color, as Latinas, as wanting to be able to tell our own stories, you know, uh, and, and not have them whitewashed, you know, or have them, you know, turned into something else. So I think having a lot of the same experience and wanting, wanting a lot of the same things, which is changing the narrative. And that's why it's, it's, it's great to work with a Latina like Gloria, you know what I mean? <laughs> Because she's just an amazing, an amazing person that that is what is important to her also. Oh, I love that she's a survivor. I love that she is uh, relatable. I love that she is uh, trying her best in this world. Uh, and But I think my number one thing is I love that she's a survivor and a fighter and resilient. Well, I mean, Poderista is all about supporting strong, fabulous Latina women in what, whatever they do, whether it's whether it's owning, you know, a restaurant or or being a doctor or being an astronaut or being an actor. So it's all about that, about uh, I think that every Poderista will love it. <laughs> I mean, I think that the stories of survival, resilience, and and moving forward, and, and things that affect us too as Latinas, you know, as Latinos, gentrification, you know, uh, stuff like that, uh, post incarceration, not necessarily just affects us, but just post incarceration. I think that these are important things, and also it's just a wonderful, a, it's wonderful storytelling, and it's wonderful to see people that look like us telling the stories. My favorite is the one my mother makes, and it's like a chicken and cheese, but it's like a chicken in una salsita. So it's like a chicken criollo kind of like uh, with the cheese, and that's my absolute favorite. And there's little papitas in there too. <laughs> oh, it depends on what I feel like that day. Like if I feel like being nostalgic and watching some sort of old nostalgia or getting on YouTube and just watching old videos, I, that's something that happens. And what I mean by old is like the 80s and the 90s and the Prince and the and the Whitney Houston's and the George Michaels and stuff like that, the Cindy Loppers. Uh, or sometimes I want to be mindless and I'll just watch like 90 Day Fiance <laughs> or like something that's just completely mindless. Uh, other times I love watching Bob's Burgers. It's really interesting. It depends on the day. It depends on what I'm feeling. Uh, but it's not like when I was younger and I was really depressed and then I'd put on a depressing movie. Like that doesn't, I'm not doing that anymore. It's more like the opposite. So yeah, I try to, I try to like, uh, bring myself up. Oh, anything that Lisa Lisa, you know, any freestyle, any like, any like, uh, I wonder if I take you home, the cover girls with the show me, the freestyle Taylor, Taylor Dane with To Tell It To My Heart, all that old uh, freestyle music that I used to listen to in high school. That'll definitely get me going. Passionate. Loving protective.